Okay. So um, here at the Ringling, we're really making a push to be more inclusive to all of our visitors, including visitors with disabilities. And one of the key ways we're doing that is reaching out to community partners. Um, so we got connected with Southeastern Guide Dogs. Um, we reached out, we thought this would be a really fun idea, and they approached us. Um, and of course, it's a perfect fit because we have all of these paintings and objects that relate to the idea of dogs in some way, so we decided to make that our theme. Um, and so we had done a practice run previously with, with the trainers and gotten a lot of good feedback from them um, about how to describe a painting and how to, you know, what things to be mindful of. Like, we're going to go upstairs, people need to know that, and how to move throughout the space. But this was the first time that we, we done it with actual students from Southeastern, um, and it, it went as well as I kind of hoped for. Um, they had some great questions, some really good insights. Um, the dogs, of course, were perfectly well behaved. Uh, and it was, I think I learned a lot from them, so it was a really wonderful and rewarding experience. And we hope to continue doing it with every new class that they're graduating. We'd like to bring them here um, and just really reiterate that the Ringling is a place for everybody. Um, whether you have vision, no vision, um, we can, where there's a will, there's a way. So we can make this museum truly a place for, for every person who wants to visit. Um, this was a new, exciting opportunity for the students. It kind of brings some culture to class. It gives them real life experience to get their dogs out and about, a less structured than some of the other outings we do. I think they were all pretty excited. We didn't have high expectations or low expectations. We kind of were like, we're not sure what to expect, um, but we were all really excited and interested to see what this was going to be like. I do not know anything about John Ringling's collection of art, so this is just amazing to me that, that uh, he had collected all this stuff. In fact, I didn't know anything about John Ringling. I just thought there were a couple of brothers that hung out on the circuit. circuit. Uh, but I was very impressed, and especially uh, the, the uh, choice of photos they described to us, having the, the canine element, and how that uh, uh, kind of blended into the period of the portrait. So I was very impressed. I'd, I'd come back. I'm from Orlando, so it's not too far.